Alright, let's get into it. Minecraft is a game with almost infinite possibilities. You can build anything, and when many people come together, they can make something greater than themselves. Minecraft has been out for well over a decade now, and there have been many servers running for over 10 years. Notch opened up online play in August 2010, so let's look through some of the foundational servers of the game. The first that might come to mind is something like 2B2T, which has been running since December of 2010, approaching a total of 12 years. 2B2T is notable for never having been reset and being a free zone for pretty much anything that is possible in the game without much moderation. Here, players don't come together, but find better and more creative ways of exploiting each other, which has led to innovation and expanding what is possible within the game. That is admirable in some ways, but its toxic culture and unfriendliness towards new players really turn off a lot of people. For example, the world spawn is essentially a death zone, and escaping from it in itself is a feat. The chat contains some really bad stuff from slurs to scams, and spawn is just camped and bombed out. While it does have some impressive qualities, it's not what we're looking for in the oldest Minecraft project. Next, we have Freedonia. This is more than likely the oldest server in the game, opened up the same day Notch enabled online play. There's a large area of around 1400 square kilometers to explore, and it's full of various mega projects. Let's look at some of these. We have Anubis, the network of nether portals, which enables fast travel throughout the world, centered on this really cool nexus. There are mazes, cathedrals, the clubhouse, and probably the most famous structure, Drum City. It's a walled city which is 150 square kilometers in itself, and contains many cool buildings from shrines to hotels, embassies, a tower, boutique, and a jazz bar. While Freetonia is a great example of teamwork, not everyone on the server is united in a common goal, and it only has a few players on at a time nowadays, uh, 12 years after its creation. It's also not being updated as much, only being available up to 1.12, and a lot of the buildings feel like they were built in 2012 uh, and don't, haven't really aged well. So the search for the best and oldest Minecraft project must go on. Now, here's where I take a bit of a tangent. I've always loved Lord of the Rings from the moment I read The Hobbit in elementary school to rewatching the movie every year with the boys. So naturally, the first thing I do when I get an open world, infinite possibility sandbox game like Minecraft is to find the community trying to translate Tolkien's immaculate world building into the game. Well, I found it. Starting in October 2010 and running continuously since then, Minecraft Middle-Earth is probably the most impressive building project that is this old in Minecraft. As I have found, it is also the oldest dedicated building project in the game. Using World Edit, it recreated the entirety of Middle-Earth from the hills of the Shire, the swamps just outside, over to the Misty Mountains, Fangorn Forest, and Rohan, over to the barren plains of Gorgoroth, north up to the Woodland Realm and the Lonely Mountain. On top of this world edit masterpiece, a team of builders went to construct every city, building, and place mentioned throughout the books and movies. From randomly scattered ruins to places just mentioned in the appendix, it really manages to capture the scale and sense of wonder of Middle-earth. You could literally wander around for days, and if you choose to, it would take you several hours to cross the world on foot, not including being slowed by climbing up and down thick forests, rivers, or any other obstacles. As someone who grew up on Lord of the Rings, this is by far my favorite Minecraft building project I've ever seen. It has extremely impressive bu builds, from the absolutely massive wedding cake city of Minas Tirith, to the cavernous mines of Moria, the expansive port city of Pelerjir, and the terrifying Minas Morgul. I'll leave a link to it in the description, so check it out if you're interested, and let's go on the journey of Frodo and Sam across this magical world.
Anyway, thanks for watching. This is both a love letter to my favorite fantasy world and the incredible work put in by the MCME team to create this. If you liked it, make sure to like the video and subscribe since we're going for 2,000 subscribers as soon as possible. That's all I've got, and good night.